Uh, good morning, Brisbane Lions fans, and welcome to our uh, Round Three's edition of the Coach's Wrap. Proudly brought to you by Vero, one of our great sponsors. Not a great weekend, as you can see. I look very tired. My eyes are drawn. Haven't had a shave for a day or two. Uh, big trip to Melbourne, and uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the result we wanted. Um, and it was probably uh, probably the worst performance of the year to date for the club so far. Uh, but the biggest challenge now is uh, backing up against the Gold Coast this week. What we'll do is have a look at some uh, areas of improvement from the game and just a couple of things that worked for us. What we'll touch on first is the areas of improvement we need to work on. Feels like a bit of deja vu today because it's our goal kicking again. And as you can see here with the set shots, uh, we weren't great. With our distance 41 to 50, we weren't great. Um, again, it's the same issue we had last week. And you might ask, well, do we do any training on it? this week to improve it? The answer is yes, and I'll show you some vision of that. Unfortunately, um, the boys just couldn't get the job done again with their goal kicking. Seven goals, 14 for the week. And as you can see with the graph here, some areas of uh, improvement that we need to work on with our goal kicking, especially our set shots from 41 to 50. Uh, here are some examples of our shots. And as I said, seven goals, 14, off the back of 11 goals, 17 against North Melbourne. Wasn't ideal and what, not what we need against a side like Geelong who can uh, hurt you. Uh, we kicked one goal, five in the first quarter. They kicked six goals, two, I think it was. So it was eight scoring shots to six. Um, and again, the same problem arose in terms of uh, where we were kicking our shots from. One thing I want to say, though, is that um, obviously there's a bit of a grandstand which is down at the ground and it was a fairly hefty wind coming through, so our boys just didn't adjust too well to the conditions with our goal kicking. Um, sometimes you can't replicate that at the gap because we've got great stands here. The boys did have some goal kicking um, shots before the game at training, but as I said, game day we couldn't do it. Geelong also kicked two goals late in the third quarter, so they didn't handle the conditions too well for a quarter also. Um, one goal five in the first quarter and one on the full, as you can see with the examples that we're showing here. What I do want to show you though is that uh, we are doing some training on it. This is last week, some vision from last week. Uh, so what we've got the boys doing, and we'll do it again this week, is that every training session we have, they'll have 20 shots at goal. So whether that's before training or after training um, or during training where they might come out of a drill, especially our forwards, and do, do some shots. As you can see here, between drills we also have players coming out and having one or two shots while they're under fatigue. It's really important we do it under fatigue because uh, that replicates game day as well. So this is just an insight into training last week and, and what we did, just so you uh, don't think I'm telling any porky pies and saying that we're training it when we're not. So just a good insight into our training. The other thing we were really poor at during this game was forward half turnovers. So for people who don't understand, you see the graph here. Geelong are going up, Brisbane are going down. We were minus 34 points on the day for forward half turnovers. And what that means is that every time we get the ball in our defensive 50 or Geelong's forward half, we basically gave it straight back to the opposition. They had 34. The AFL average is 22. Geelong had 34. And they kicked seven goals, six from those. We had 24, and we only kicked two goals, two. Uh, so that was a big difference in the game as well. That's a 34, goal, 34 points to six goals. And to give you an example of what I mean by that, you can see young Harris Andrews here. Just a skill execution error, gives it straight back. So that's in Geelong's forward half of the ground. They kick a goal from it. The better sides in the AFL are very good at this, and it's an area that we uh, keep improving on. Um, we were very good against North Melbourne last week, but we fell away against Geelong. And here's another example of uh, right on quarter time. Tommy Cutler does a kick in. Skill execution, misses it, straight to Dangerfield, he kicks a goal. So that was two goals in the first quarter from our forward, their forward half turnovers, which really hurt us on the day. Again, we'll try and that during the week about our skill execution, uh, getting our skills right. Um, and as you can see with the, uh, the Harris Andrews um, face and his hands on his head after the, the kick, he obviously doesn't mean to do it, just an area we need to keep improving on. So that was a big focus on the game for us during the week as well, but we just didn't perform that well. However, out of some poor stuff came some good stuff. And I thought Darcy Gardner was really good on the day. You can see here as a defender, his ability to spoil and tackle and harass the opposition um, was terrific on the day. He had 17 possessions, three tackles, three rebound 50s, but more importantly, his spoils. He had five spoils, and his one-on-one -on -one contests were uh, very good on the day. So he was a shining light for the club on the day, and a young boy who puts a lot of work into his uh, training. So that was one positive. Yeah, look, it's a good question. I think one uh, thing we try and do internally here is just focus on what we can control 
uh, and not what we uh, can't control, like media comments or fan comments. Uh, we know what we're um, doing and where we're going as a footy club, and it's about the journey. We've got the youngest list in the AFL, so we try and keep positive with the players. Uh, at the same time, we need to show them some examples of areas we need to improve on, like I've shown you guys today. Um, but so far this year, we've been on the right track. It was a bit of a hiccup, probably in the last quarter more so than anything on the weekend. But internally, we know where we're going and we'll keep working on those areas. And uh, I'm sure the wins will come sooner than everyone thinks. Yeah, good question. Uh, last week we had an eight-day break, which allows us to get um, three training sessions in. Obviously this week, just to give you a, a bit of a heads up of how it went, we played down at Geelong at 4.40. Game finished about 7.30. Uh, we had to get on a bus for an hour and a quarter trip back to Tullamarine, Melbourne Airport. <coughs> uh, 11.30 flight, which got in about 1.30 quarter to 2 in the morning. So not ideal for the boys in a six-day break. Um, <coughs> Monday was all about recovery. Uh, today being Tuesday, we do a review of the game with the boys, but we try and move on as quickly as we can. The boys will do some touch sessions um, today. They'll also do some goal kicking. Uh, they got tomorrow off. Our main session will be on Thursday. It's the only time we can train during the week in a six-day break. Friday, we have a bit of a captain's run, and Saturday we play. So it goes from one game to the next very, very quickly in a six-day break. So it's more about recovery and more about getting the boys refreshing and uh, getting their mindset positive again for, uh, for having a good crack at Gold Coast this week. Yeah, um, again, a very good question. Three good questions today, guys. Uh, it's an area we've got to improve in. We've been very poor in it over the last two years, uh, giving away too many free kicks and 50 metre penalties. It's something we address every week. Um, especially with our leadership group who try and drive the standards as much as they can in this area. Um, again, we can only control what we can control during the week and it's up to the boys on, the, on game day to be able to put the actions into place. Um, they haven't been great at it and ideal, but in our review meeting today, it's probably going to be uh, the number one topic of discussion. We need to get better at it. We understand that. Um, it's a work in progress. Um, and the quicker we can get better in that area, the, uh, the better we'll be off. So uh, it's a work in progress.